Masahiko having a fight record of 25 fights, 22 wins, 3 losses, 13 fights by KO. He's an orthodox fighter. And this is going to be a 3 minute, 3 round fight uh, with a bonus round if it goes to a draw. All right, and Teti Minicelli, known as the Wolverine for his non stop, ferocious style of fighting. So we're definitely in for a firecracker next up, folks. So as they say, and as I've said before tonight, don't blink. I think Masahiko having the hometown advantage. You know, he's he's from Osaka, so trains not too far from here. He's also got the reach. So uh, once again, we're going to see uh, how the two fighters deal with this. Is uh, the shorter fighter going to be able to impose uh, his physicality and step into that range? Or is the taller fighter going to be able to keep the shorter fighter at range using the long techniques, which is the push kick, the jab, and good footwork? Yeah, he's a bit of difference. We're going to see how that plays out. And here they go. They come in quick. I think they want to start off to a quick start. Yep. Yeah, you can see the height, the height advantage that Masahiko yep. has. But sure yeah, enough, Shelley, Ted yep. showing that, uh, that Wolverine ferocity. Mm -hmm. Both fighters showing ferocity. Oh. And smooth counters. Smooth yeah, mix, counters. nice mixture of hands and yeah. kicks. Typical of the kickboxing styles, especially from uh, Japanese. Oh, oh, nice, nice spinning, spinning kick. kick. Yes. Showing his skill there. Yeah. Oh, nice. Good exchange yes. there. A Both nice follow up with the kick at the end by Menicelli because. You know, sometimes in those exchanges, you know, uh, it's oh, easier nice for the judges to say Masico. who won that by who got that last punch in, last kick in. Well, again, damage is important when, when it comes to judging. And Emmanuel Teddy, he has a lot of power. You can see from his kicks. But uh, so does Masahiko. He's coming in. Yep. Nice combination there. Nice knee. He's controlling the wing ring very oh. well. Spinning back fist attempt. Yeah, Emmanuel Teddy likes yep. those spinning moves. Oh. Nice, nice look to the body nice on that last shot. combination, yeah. That really sunk in. Again, Masahiko cl controlling the ring very well. Yeah, but closing the distance on the shorter fighter. So I wonder how it's going to play out as it goes on. Is it going to turn into a bit more of a, a war or a, a close range? Uh, what some people call it more of a sloppy fight, but not sloppy by any means. Just that the range makes it that way. Is it going to turn into nice that? Combination there. Is uh, Suzuki going to use his reach advantage here? Nice little slip there to avoid the punches. Again, spinning back kick. Yeah. He's landing those body shots nicely as well. Yeah. Whereas like Masahiko, he's coming up high. But he's not afraid to come in and clinch. Oh. Emmanuel Teddy signaling that he needs to adjust his, uh, his strap. Right. Everything Looks like he's okay. Back to work. Oh, good calm. It starts off with strong combination from Masahiko. Yeah. He's got dangerous hands. Yeah. So does Manuel Teddy. That was yeah. nice. That was and right I noticed there. a nice little nod there before <laughs> Suzuki stepped in for the last combination. As you say. Yep, 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 let's do this. Both fighters showing a lot of spirit. Yeah. And a lot, a lot of action. Oh, nice right. Nice right again. Wolverine slipping in, <laughs> slipping in those strikes. If you can notice, there's a bit of difference with the way they're clinching as well, both coming from kickboxing backgrounds. Yeah. But that's the end of the round. That went by very quickly, which tells you that these two are really keeping a high pace. It is a high pace. Yeah, and that makes it exciting. Yeah, they're both trading back and forth, back and forth, without really any give. Tough round to score. I give the slight edge to Masahiko Suzuki. Seventh rise bantamweight champion. Also, w, w, uh, Masahiko is the uh, seventh rise bantamweight uh, champion. He's also WBC Muay Thai bantamweight champion. Uh, and who, uh, the Boost Cup. Japan bands a weight champion. So a lot of titles under Masahiko Suzuki's belt. Uh, 
Emmanuel Teddy has the uh, WKN World Flyweight uh, title uh, in the Waco Italian uh, 54.5 kilogram weight title. So, a lot of experience from both fighters. Round two. Both of them are used to winning. Masaiko starting off strong, coming. Oh, nice combination as a counter <laughs> by Teddy Manichelli, the Wolverine. He's coming in with those counters nice. Yeah, and he likes those spinning moves as well. Yeah. They can be dangerous. As a smaller fighter, you have the space to do that. Masahiko not afraid yeah. to close the distance there. He's using good range there. I liked when Masahiko is on the end of his punches as a rather to coming in. I like to keep, when he keeps going on the end of his punches. They're clean, they're crisp, and he still has room to kind of stand back and uh, avoid the, on, the, the onslaught. Oh, there the he's counter. got him in the corner. He's yeah. really working on him now. Nice knee. Yeah, that was really Looks nice. like he rocked Te yes. uh, Emmanuel Teddy there a little bit. Is. There it is. Oh. One, two, three, four, five. One down. Seven, eight. Gives him the eight count. Okay. All right, back now they're back. Let's, Let's see, see if uh, Manuel can recover a bit. Yeah. Oh. Masahiko is really starting to land those shots, those body shots. There it is. Nicely done by Masahiko Suzuki. Nice body shot. He timed that, stayed outside, saw the opening, and went for it. Let's see if the Naniwa Bomb Boy can put away the Wolverine. There it is! Wow. There it is by body shot. Nice performance by Masahiko Suzuki. Yes, the Wolverine declawed for one night and anyway. He wins the bonus. Great position there shown by Masahiko Suzuki, showing why he's a champion. Excellent fight by, by both fighters. Yes. Excellent performance. There's a lot of action in that fight. It was an exciting, one, one of the more exciting fights of the night, I think. And there it is, you can see the replay. That landing, that knee. I think that really took the steam out of the Wolverine. Good showmanship by both fighters. Yeah. 